Greetings, everyone. Raji Narayan Singh here, transgender activist, author, and actress. Currently on season two and three of the reality show Botched on the E Network. So, I want to talk a little bit about the LGBTQ family. Now, there are people within the LGBTQ family that think we shouldn't necessarily be considered a family. We shouldn't be clumped together as one population. And certainly, each group within the LGBTQ community has their own unique issues and concerns and situations to deal with. But I think the thing that truly links us together as a people is that when you're looking at discrimination and injustice, it's all rooted in sexuality discrimination or discrimination of gender identity. And more than that, gender expectation. If you look at, for instance, if you look at uh, gay men, the ones that tend to be more feminine usually experience more discrimination than the masculine ones. And all that really speaks to is the fact that because these men are not acting the way society says a man should be acting, they are subject to more discrimination. Now, as a trans woman, Lord knows I've experienced my share of discrimination and injustice. But what is so disgusting, that's one of the words that come to my mind, discouraging, that's another word, is when I get that discrimination from my own LGBTQ family, and I have, I have been discriminated from my own LGBTQ family, lesbian people, gay people, bisexual people, and yes, my own transgender sisters and brothers. For whatever reason it may have been, it's happened. And when I look at us as a group, an LGBTQ family or community, our population compared to other populations, we're small. We're a small population compared to other populations in the world. And so then you look at this group and then you end up having all these different categories and things that divide us as a group, whether it's race or class or the different labels, like with gay men, you know, uh, um, a femme queen or a masculine butch queen. Um, you have the leather people and the, the bears and the cubs and all the different uh, subgroups, you know, with trans people as an, as, as an example. You have the ones that are quote-unquote more passable and the ones that aren't as passable. And so all these different categories. And I'm going to tell you, it's nothing wrong with being who you are and being proud of it. I mean, I'm all about that, standing in your authentic truth and being your authentic self. So if you're a, a leather person, oh, by all means, you know, and you're, of course, you're going to gravitate to other leather gay people. Or if you're, you know, a, a, um, a butch uh, queen, you're going to have probably other butch queen friends. Uh, if you're uh, a trans woman of color, you may have more trans women of color as friends as opposed to white transgender women of color. But the point is, we cannot allow our different groups within the LGBTQ family to divide us. That, that cannot happen, and it does happen. It has to stop. I'm going to tell you, I have had experiences where I've been out and, you know, there's gay men in, in, in the, the, at the event or whatever. And, you know, you can feel like, you know, the, 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 the negative energy that comes from them. And let me tell you, folks, I get it. You gay men and you lesbian women, you're like, well, hell, we had to fight. And, you know, we've come so far and we have so, so you know, we have so many more rights now. 
uh, and like we now have to take you folks on that are like considered so far out there and living on the fringes of society and we have to now take you guys on you know and it, it's it's one of those things that my injustice is truly a threat to your justice oh yeah because if it can happen to me, it can certainly happen to you as a gay person or as a lesbian person. So, let's not forget, too, Stonewall, folks. Stonewall, we trans women were out there. We started it, okay? That's a part of our history. So, let's not forget that. But I'll tell you, I had a situation recently where I was going through a drive through at a McDonald's. And I get to the window to pay and I look in the window and it's this very, very masculine woman. I mean, extremely masculine. She was basically a dude, okay? Now, I don't know how she was identifying, if she was identifying as a masculine lesbian, which is called a stud, or if she was actually transitioning and she's transgender i don't know but what i do know is that the hate that i felt from her it was just it was horrific she looked at me with such disdain and hatred and i wanted to like scream from the top of my lungs what the fuck are you doing you're trying to be so hard, and you're getting it all wrong. I'm your sister. I'm the same thing you are. You were born female, and you feel very male, and you're expressing that. I was born male, and I feel very female, and I'm expressing that. We're the same thing. We need to be sticking together, lifting each other up, and yet you were looking at me with such hatred. It was horrific. I couldn't believe it. And I, I was speechless. I wanted to say all of that, but I just couldn't believe that I was getting such hatred from her. And um, all I could do is give her an evil look back. But I really wish I would have called her out. Because, you know, I wanted to tell her, you were directing all of your hardness and your hatred and all of that toughness that you're giving off, you're directing it to the wrong one, honey. You need to be directing it to all those people out there in the world that hate us, us LGBTQ people, all right, if you're going to do it. I mean, I'm all about love and peace, but I mean, I, this is what I wanted to say to her. I couldn't believe it. And you know, I, I, after I left, I thought to myself, she must really hate herself. You know, to, to, to have so much hatred and negativity towards me, it was almost like, I guess, I was a reminder of what she is. And even though I'm a transgender woman and she's either a stud or a transgender male, um, it was like this reminder and she just couldn't deal with it. I'm going to tell you, power really is in unity. It really is. And with what's going on in the world now, it is August 2017, for the record. And what is going on now, especially with, you know, the different things that are happening against LGBTQ people, not only here in America, but around the world, we need to truly stay united. Okay, we do. Now, whether you as an LGBTQ person feel we should be a family, look at us as a, as a family, I have news for you. The world does. The world clumps us together. So whether you want to and you agree with it or you don't feel comfortable with it, we are clumped together. We're in the same boat. Just different compartments. But we're on that same boat now, it can be the love boat, or it could be the Titanic. Which do you want? Unity, people, 
LGBTQ empowerment. <laughs> Love, peace, and blessings.